Welcome to my unboxing for my new graphics processing unit, the EVGA GeForce GTX 760. I purchased this at Fry's Electronics for a reduced sale price of $256.49. Actual retail price was $279.99. I'm going to open this up to reveal the contents of the package. We have a nice package assembly with the card inside of a plastic housing with various documentation. This here is a power cable for which I probably will not need because my power supply has sufficient cables for connectivity. It comes with a driver CD, however I usually install drivers from the official manufacturer's website because at the time of shipping, the drivers might be obsolete. Here we have a full-size poster of what looks like Mutaro from Mortal Kombat. On the bottom of the poster it reads, Innovation Inspiration, which is NVIDIA's marketing slogan. Here we have a double 4-pin Molex connector with a 6-pin power connector for the cart which I won't need. Here we have a DVI to VGA converter. I currently have about three of these due to my previous graphics card purchases. I keep them just in case I ever need them. Here is the actual graphics card. It has two fans and an extended heatsink to vent heat out of the rear of the card. We have a rubber cover for the PCI Express slot, which I will obviously need to remove for connectivity. Here is the power connections. If you notice the scratches next to the EVGA, this is probably a used card or shipping damage and probably explains the reduced price. As long as it works, I will not gripe over it. On the top here we have a rubber cover for the SLI connection, which I do plan to upgrade to. There are three fancy design air vents on the very top as well. Here's the card in which I will be uninstalling to install a new card. It is a Radeon 7800. This card ran everything I thrown at it with flying colors, but it didn't support accelerated rendering for my video editors. All of the videos I ever recorded were rendered with my processor. The processor I have is a i7-4770 3.4 GHz, and if it weren't for that chip, rendering probably would have taken a lot longer. Here I'm making sure the graphics card is properly seated. If you don't make sure hardware is properly seated, you could damage your motherboard. Here I have to insert two screws because the card is so large that it takes up two slots. Going to connect the power supply to the graphics card. As you can see, I do not need the supplied cables because my power supply unit is 650 watts. The needed wattage for my previous card was at least 500, so I made sure to go over that for future upgrade projects. The card came with a nice metallic sticker. Yes, it's actually made of metal. As you can see, I have a Samsung SSD drive. This drive is only for my Windows 7 installation for quick booting. Alright, let's boot it up. 